With half the population dead, the world in chaos, water and food supply limited, and much-needed medical treatments depleted, Sam does have a way out. But it's complicated. Did I give you the impression that we're friends? Is this about who I worked for? The bill? You wanted to play sports with your friends, and you couldn't. I get it, but it wasn't me. I didn't write it. And no, honestly, none of that matters it's now. certainly a position to take. Sam! You know, not everything is about me being trans. I just don't trust you. Joining us from DC Comics' inspired series, Why the Last Man, please say hello to my new bestie, actor, Elliot Fletcher! Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so, good so to see you. So I, I said my new bestie, and you started laughing. Is there a is there a reason? No, no. I I am laughing with joy. I'm so glad that we are now besties. Exactly. You're, you're taking this friendship seriously, and and I'm happy that you are, and I'm happy that you're here because you are everywhere. Like I was telling you earlier, but let's talk about why the last man because it's a post-apocalyptic story. Tell us what happens, because this is a world that I don't think I, personally, would even survive. You don't even want me there, because I'd be like, blah, 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 save me, Sam. So talk to us about oh what gosh. this world is like. Sure. Um, Why the Last Man is based on the graphic novel series by uh, Brian K. Vaughan and Pia Guerra. And it's about a sort of event, uh, a post-apocalyptic event, I guess, that, yes, kills um, all mammals with a Y chromosome. Um, except for one mm -hmm. cisgender man, uh, York Brown, and his pet monkey, Ampersand. And uh, so the show sort of follows uh, the some of the survivors of this event and uh, the journeys they go on and uh, the craziness of the new world. All right, so talk to us about, talk to us about Sam, by the way, who, like I said, I feel... Like, what made you want to take on this role? Because, you know, for an actor, I feel like sometimes you see you have things in common with the role, and that's why you love it, or you don't have things in common with the role, that's why you want to explore. So talk to us about Sam and what he brings to this situation. Sure. Um, uh, I personally love Sam a lot, um, but he is, uh, in this world, I think, what we see of him is he's he's an artist, and he's a he's a struggling artist trying to figure out his his new path in this um, sort of uncharted territory. He's with his best friend, Hero Brown, for the majority. Um, and uh, he uh, they have some clear uh, some clear differences of opinion, but they really stand by one another and love each other. Um, and so uh, his story sort of revolves around her, their relationship and him, finding out if there is a way to pursue um, his passion, which is uh, theater uh, in this new world. So see, just like Sam, you are an artist because we've seen your work. Like I was telling you earlier, like tell me your secrets, Marvel's Runaways, The Fosters, Shameless. Seriously, teach me Thank your you. ways. Can you, can you teach someone without talent to be an actor? Because this is something you're, you're clearly born with. Without talent? Um, well, I said what I said. If you're, okay. referen if you're referencing yourself, there's plenty of talent. Oh, but stop. Um, uh, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, acting is so it's such a fun thing to do, and it's just like it's great to be able to like try on different people, try on different characters, and like create stories that I would never have a chance to create in real life, and. Um, you know, especially with something like why, you know, it is based on a graphic novel. And so there is this sort of mild sci-fi comic book element that's really fun um, uh, that I've never had the opportunity to do before. And so um, it's 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 been really great and to, to just have the career I have and to um, have the opportunities I've I've had. It's, I'm, I feel very, very lucky and very privileged. Yeah, you are because I, I, I miss your. I, I was asking you earlier where your son is, and you're like, oh, he's at a sleepover. <laughs> people, explain to people who don't know who your son is. Sure, my son <laughs> is uh, Bo Fletcher. Um, he is my dog. Uh, I'm I don't have an actual child. I well, he is my. He actual is your child. child. But, yeah, um, yeah, but he is having currently a, a sleepover with his best friend, which is one of my parents' dogs, which is very, very adorable and oh. sweet. <laughs> will, will, will Bo be dressing up for Halloween? 
Oh, yes. Uh, we already bought him like a little pumpkin sweater, so he'll Ooh. probably just be sporting that all night. What about you? Uh, ooh, so far, my girlfriend and I are really trying to figure out what we want to be. We might do uh, something that's a little reference to, to Scream, which is uh, one oh. of our favorite movies right now. So we might do something like that, but uh, keep an eye out, I'm sure. I'm All sure right, we'll so if you have any extra, extra costumes that you don't use, let me know, because I don't know what I'm going as. Oh, oh gosh. Well, when you figure it out, please, please inform me, because I am a big Halloween person. I oh, love oh, Halloween. That's why I said, let me ask. Let me ask. I'll have some candy <laughs> corn for you. Cool, thank you. You're welcome. Elliot, such a pleasure to meet you. You can catch new episodes of Why the Last Man Mondays on Hulu. And I'll send you a picture of my Halloween costume when I get it. Thank you, Elliot. Such a thank pleasure you. to meet you. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Anytime.